Hello everyone and welcome to K-pop Discovery episode 56. I can't believe it's already so many. Um, there's already so many episodes that I've done, but I'm so excited because I get to discover three brand new groups. You have Unite, Haiki, hopefully that's how you say it, and Xdinary heroes now um out of the three of them i'm not familiar with any but i've heard a lot of good things about extinary heroes but more on that when i get there i've put out um put up timestamps so you can just jump forward to the section that interests you the most also because i am getting to know three brand new groups to me i'm also making three song recommendations by artists that i love and adore or just songs that i may be obsessed with at the moment so the first recommendation of the day is fu by dynamic duo featuring tiger jk and juvie train And that was FU by Dynamic Duo featuring Tiger JK and Juvie Train. The first artist that I checked out for today was Unite and I was not familiar at all with them um, when I got into their debut album Universe. So I went in completely blind. I've never seen a music video, a, sh a short, like even a snippet, nada. So I did not know what to expect. And I went and listened to the album. It was good. There's definitely potential for me to really enjoy them. Um, I want to give myself a couple more albums before I make a decision. But as of now, let's just say there is potential for me to be obsessed with them. But coming back to this album, it was really good. I love how catchy the songs are. Um, and you know, catchy songs will always do the work because once that song is stuck in your head, you find yourself going back and listening again and again and again. And before you know it, there you go, obsessed <laughs> with a group. Um, I love the energy. I love when I'm listening to it to an album and I feel like my ba my body develops a mind of its own, which is how contagious the energy is. I love albums that make me feel that way. And there's definitely a lot of that in this one. Um, there were also a couple of throwers um, that would be One of Nine and um, Odyssey. Those two, I still need some time for me to really get into them. Um, as of now, I've listened to the album maybe four or five times and um I, i'm still not really into them but it's okay like i say on the time all, all the time it's not because you do not like something that it means that um the song is bad or anything music is subjective and what may not be for me may be someone else's favorite and it's okay also you're never going to like a hundred percent of what an up artists put out you know just because of how different songs are from one another and it's okay to not like a song as long as we all keep things respectful i don't see any issue with somebody not liking a song from an artist that i love so some of the songs on here um are still 
still needs to grow on me but for the most part i really enjoyed myself now when it comes to my personal favorites it is of course unibirth my favorite song listen shout out to the rap line they really bring in that spice and i am a sucker for rap lines it's like my achilles heel every single time once i get to know a group i mostly fall in love with the rap line and i foresee myself doing so again but it's still too early to tell but they definitely got my attention with the song they really just brought in that spice the song is great the production is really nice i love the melody i love the vocals but the rap line oh my god <laughs> they really impressed me so i'm excited to see where this journey takes me who is going to end up being my bias which song and album are end up going to end up my number one so i'm really excited let me know in the comments you know all great things about Unite, your biases, your favorite eras, favorite song of all time, and all that good stuff. The second recommendation of the day is Put It On Ya by JC featuring BM and Nafla. Put all your bands where my eyes can see, and I'ma put it on ya. I'ma put it on ya. We be covered. Oh, baby, know you want this good loving. Ain't no farting, just keep it 100. I'ma put it on ya. Yeah. Huh? Always doing big things. Huh? Feel a higher than the cis tank. Huh? In the club, all lies on me. No cap, thick 
booty thick thighs on me Celebrate like my birthday We be sipping champagne cause we thirsty I ain't really trying to stress about my work day Now give me this, now give me that, I want everything And that was a snippet of Put It On Ya by Jesse featuring BM and Nafla. The next artist that I checked out for today was Haiki. Now, please correct me in the comments. Is it One Key or Haiki? I'm confused as to how I'm supposed to pronounce it. But anyway, I checked out their debut album, Run. Um they definitely got my attention the album was good you know it just gave me summer cuteness vibes and i really like that you know there's not a lot of songs on there there's only three songs but for um those three songs i just had the time of my life like i have no complaint whatsoever even for someone like me that just like short projects but i feel like this was a nice introduction to um their entire world and now i'm curious i want to hear more and see where we go from there is this type of sound going to be their constant sound or do they switch it up so i'm really curious about where we're going from here but just from the little that i heard so far I really like it. Now, when it comes to my personal favorites in this project, I have two of them. Number two is Hot Light. that was my second favorite i love this it's so um you know fun and 
it's definitely one of those that's just so catchy that will bring a smile to your face and i love songs like this the star of the album is run That was my favorite song. Uh, another song that's just so catchy. The just the feel of it is just so feel good, you know. And it's definitely one that I will have on repeat constantly because of just how happy it makes me feel. Like I said, this is the embodiment of summer cuteness, and it's so gray right now. It's raining so much, so songs like this absolutely just warm my heart. So um, I'm really excited to see where things go from here and, um, you know, what they have in store when it comes to their discography. The last recommendation of the day is Welcome by J. Park. So baby, listen up.
And that was a snippet of Welcome by J Park. Now, the last artist I checked out for today, Extinary Heroes. I've heard so many great things about them. I went in with so many expectations, and I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit anxious because every time I went into something expecting a lot um most of the time i end up disappointed and i always think myself don't jump the gun wait wait but you know when you hear so many great things about an artist you cannot help it like going into here um hello world i was like oh my god this is going to be great and everything and i was not disappointed at all you know it's been a minute since i feel like I fell in love with an artist at first listen, you know, um, but it happened. It happened. Oh, my God. I love them. I love everything about their music. I am obsessed and I'm sold. I just needed, what is this in this album? One, two, three, four, five songs. And I was gone. I was like, yes, absolutely. Sign me up. I just needed that one album. They're so good. Oh my God. Um, everything that I love in an album was present here. Great production, unforgettable songs, melodies from heaven, artists with so much charisma that get to you from the jump. Like this is how you make a first impression. And I'm going to say I'm pretty sure who my bias is going to be and is. It is Julian. I listened to this album. I went and checked out like the music videos, the stages for this era, which is something I never do because I'm someone that likes to listen to the discography first and then go back and check out all the other stuff. Visuals usually do not do anything for me, but this time, oh my God, <laughs> I really fell into a rabbit hole because I was listening to the 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 album and i was like who is this and then i went and looked for like color coded um um what's this video the actual mv and look on like everywhere that i could check like who was singing what so i could be sure and yeah julian got me by the throat from the get-go and i'm pretty sure this is going to remain my bias <laughs> forever i love this group they are amazing the album is so great and i'm obsessed <laughs> so um when it comes to my personal favorites in this one i have uh, three of them number three is sucker punch <laughs> I think it's me, I'm each other, I got it.
방 먹어도 더 그날 술을 난 준비해 song um probably my favorite okay now hold on <laughs> my second favorite bridge bridge on the album it's just huh, hit so hard and i really love the song the energy of it how catchy it is and it's almost like you're in a trance while listening to it i love that number two is knockdown <laughs>
was my second favorite. Every single song on this album packs such a punch. And this again, it's like the choruses, it feels like you're being pierced by the music and <laughs> such a strange sensation. I love it. I love the vocals on this one. The star of the album is Strawberry Cake. <laughs> This is actually the song with my favorite chorus and bridge is perfect. I love it. I love the way they sing Strawberry Cake. The impact, insane. So I'm fully invested and I cannot wait to dive into more of their discography. Let me know in the comments how you felt about this album, which song ended up your favorite, who is your bias, how did you fall in love with Extinary Heroes, what's their best era so far, and all that good stuff. That's it for me today. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you want to go on any of the journeys that I started today with me.